Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Today we're gonna learn how to save our Cricut files that we have created into SVG files. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how we can technically save our finished projects into our computer. The issue with that at hand is, is the file gets saved as a PNG file, so it's not a cuttable file. The PNG files will work if you are doing like a fully printable print then cut item. But for today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna take our finished files in Cricut and turn them into cuttable SVG files that you'll be able to sell, use in different craft machines, different programs, even your laser cutter. I'm gonna show you how to make our own SVG file, taking it from Cricut Design Space and into a different program. That being said, the program that we are gonna be using today is called Inkscape. Inkscape is a free program. I have used it for six plus years. It's been a long time. And for six years, I've never paid for it ever. So it is one of those programs. I don't know how they do it, but they have it for free and we just get to use it. That being said, there are other people out there that do tell you to, you know, do your saving your SVG files on other websites. And I don't know any of them on hand. I have used them and I've tested them out and it is honestly a little bit more difficult to use those websites than it is just to use Inkscape. So that being said, let's get started. All the steps that I'm gonna show you today is gonna be the same steps that you are going to use with your own projects. So as you're watching this, if you just wanna pull up one of your projects and start working on your project, listening to what I'm doing, you'll be able to do this together even though we don't have the same project. Okay, so I'm just gonna make myself small and put myself in the corner. The very first thing I'm gonna do is open up Inkscape. So I'm gonna go to my launch pad, open up Inkscape. This is going to pop up. I'm just gonna do a new document. Now, my version of Inkscape on my computer, on this computer that I'm at, looks very different than my any other computer that I am on. So if you, if you have watched my Inkscape tutorials and you're like, whoa, this screen looks a lot different, it does, but it all works the same. So just because my screen looks different than yours, it will all, it all looks the same. Okay, so I am just gonna make this bigger. Okay, and then, okay, so I wanna zoom out, so that's gonna be the minus key on your keyboard. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna make my project board bigger. Right now it's pretty small. So I'm gonna go over here into file and I'm gonna to go to document properties. This is optional, you definitely don't need to do that. I just like to make mine larger. I'm gonna go over here into sizes and I'm gonna go into inches and I'm just gonna make mine like 30 by 20, okay? And then when I'm done doing that, I'm just gonna come up here and I press that red button. Okay, zoom out a little bit more. Okay, so now that we have that, we're just gonna go back into Cricut Design Space. So this is the file that I wanna work on. This is a really cute cardstock garland that I have designed in Cricut Design Space and I now have the Caesar Romeos and I wanna be able to cut it on my Caesar Romeo. So all I'm gonna do is if your design has multiple layers, like this uh, pineapple for instance has two layers, this strawberry has well, I have three showing. This one has three. So if it has multiple layers, what you need to do is you need to go into each individual item. We're gonna right click and press ungroup. Go to this one, right click, press ungroup. This one, right click, ungroup. We're gonna ungroup all the items. Okay, now what you wanna do is taking each individual item and we want to just slide them down so they're not touching. See how I'm just kind of making sure that they are not touching each other and I'm just taking these items and I'm just moving them down. Okay, the very next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take every single element that you have and we are gonna make this really big, as large as you can make it onto your computer screen. The larger, the better. We can resize this later, we just want the best quality images possible. Okay, when I have that done, now what I wanna do is I wanna come up over here and I am gonna go into Operation and Basic Cut and then I'm gonna come over here into this like question mark. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna turn everything black. Okay, I'm gonna scoot myself down just for a second. 
The very next thing you're gonna wanna do is take a screenshot. I am on a Mac, so I'm a Command Shift 4, and this like little aiming tool will pop up. I'm gonna draw a box around the entire thing. See how I have this gray box? I'm not gonna cut off my pineapple. I'm not gonna cut off anything else. I'm just gonna, but I don't wanna go too big. I wanna do a pretty decent box around everything, making sure not to cut anything off. When I have my box, I'm just gonna let go of my mouse and there it goes right here. I'm gonna click on Inkscape and I'm gonna drag in my screenshot into Inkscape. This box right here is going to pop up. Just press okay. You don't need to press anything on there. So for the time being, we are done with Cricut Design Space. So I'm just gonna make this larger. Okay, so I'm gonna drag my screenshot into my working area. Just That's just how I like to do things. That was optional. Okay, this may look like a cuttable file, but it is not. It is just a PNG file at this point. So what we need to do is with our screenshot clicked, we need to right click and we need to go down to trace bitmap. This box will pop up. Because we made sure that our screenshot was like everything and it was nice and big, we don't have to change anything over here. We don't have to change the threshold, the smooth corners. You don't have to change anything. All you need to do is press apply. It will look like nothing happened, but if we click on just one of the layers, cause there's gonna be two. If we click on one of the components of our screenshot and we drag it down, do you see how a second one's been revealed? If I take this and I drag this over just to the right, you see how this pineapple, I can see the gray right here and the white right here, and I can see this line. This is the file or the layer that you wanna keep. So I'm gonna drag that down. Now, if I click on this one and I drag this over, do you see how inside my pineapple, I can't see anything, I can't see that gray or that line? That's our screenshot, we wanna delete that. Okay, so in all technicalities, this right here, if we save this as an SVG file, it would be a cuttable SVG file that you could upload anywhere. However, I do not suggest saving it right now because in all technicalities, this is all welded together. So if you were to try and cut this, it would just be one welded piece together. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Command, Shift, and K. If you did not want to do your shortcuts, all you needed to do is go up here into path and then it was break apart. So now it looks like it's crazy, right? You have like a whole bunch of little boxes here, here. It looks like that things are gone missing and stuff like that. That's okay, we're gonna fix that. But we are on the path to making this the most amazing SVG file out there. Okay, so when you do this step, always remember that the largest pieces to your icons always get brought forward. Why? I have no idea. But just remember, so when we click out of that, this strawberry, we are gonna want red, right? So I'm gonna click on this backstrop, this big piece of the strawberry, and I'm gonna change it over to red. Now all those little pieces have gone missing, right? So now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna send this to the back. See how now all our dots are there? To make it easy on ourselves, because we're gonna have to slice through this, I am just going to select only those four circles. I'm gonna Command Shift and the plus sign. Or you could have done Path and then Union. Now, with the circles selected, I'm gonna press Shift on my keyboard and then that red strawberry. I'm gonna Command Shift and the minus key, which is slicing into it. If you do not wanna do your keyboard shortcuts, you could have just done path and then difference. Okay, and then this right here is the green topper of our strawberry. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna turn that green. And then if you wanted to, you could just drag this up to the top of our strawberry. We have one cuttable SVG file. Okay, this is the back of our orange. I'm gonna change that over to orange. And this is like that top rind part. I want it to be like a lighter orange. Whoops, we're missing the insides of that, right? So let's just send this to the back. And there's over three. So now I'm just gonna click only the three black pieces, Command Shift plus sign, Shift on the keyboard, click the light orange, Command Shift minus key. There is our second layer to our orange. I'm gonna drag this up. Oh, 
and do you see how it's behind that orange? Let's come up here and we're gonna put this to the top. Now, when we drag it up, do you see how it's now on top? Perfect. Okay, this is our lemon. I wanna change that over to a lime green. And then this right here is the, is the actual lemon, so I'm gonna do it yellow. If I drag this on top of this, perfect. And this one did not have any needed for any additional cuts or cutouts. That was an easy one to do. Okay, so for the watermelon, this was our watermelon. We have the back one's going to be green. This right here was white. That's gonna be like that inside portion of the watermelon. Let's drag this up to here. Oh, do you see? This is actually not white. It's supposed to be pink. So I'm gonna Command Z, which is undo. Then I've now noticed that this is going to be pink. So I'm gonna come down here to my colors. Let's see, we're gonna do a pink. Okay, now I'm going to send this to the back. There are those th those little seeds, so I'm only gonna select the seeds. Command Shift plus sign, Shift on the keyboard, clicking my pink, Command Shift minus key. Okay, so then this right here is the back part of my seed. So I just wanna keep that black, so I'm gonna send that to the back. And then this is going to be that white piece of the rind. So I'm gonna just click white. Let's bring this up, that is that rind. And let's select both of those pieces of watermelon and we'll, oh, do you see how that's been put to the back? We are gonna just come up here and we're gonna send it to the front. There is our watermelon. Okay, doing the same steps that we've done. I'm gonna change this over to a lime green. This right here, I wanna be red. Okay, so now I have revealed that there is like this inside cutout. So having the red selected, shift on the keyboard and that black, command shift and the minus key. And then this, I also want to be red. So I'm gonna select red. Those are two pieces that I want to be red. So then I'm gonna command shift and the plus sign because those are two pieces. And then I have revealed that there's like a small little black piece right here. So I'm gonna click that black piece, shift on the keyboard and that red. Command shift and the minus key. So now I can drag this on top of my cherry. I'm gonna be able to drag this to the top just like this. Perfect. Now I'm gonna select just my cherry and I'm gonna drag it up. We are almost done. Then I'm gonna select the back of my pineapple. That's gonna be the lime or that lime color. And then I'm gonna click the biggest part of my pineapple. I'm gonna make that yellow. We all know that there is the inside cutouts of that pineapple and it's gone missing. So all you wanna do is send it to the back. You got all these little cutouts here. So now I'm just only gonna select the little triangles, pressing Command, Shift, and the plus sign, which is Union. Now I'm gonna select the black triangles that we just welded together and that yellow, Command, Shift, and the minus key. Now we sliced it through and, oh, if I drag it up to my pineapple, it's behind. So let's bring this forward. Okay, if you needed to, you could go ahead and resize these if you wanted to. The other thing that you could do is like select just your strawberry, right click and press group. We could do that for the orange if you wanted to. This is like all optional. You could recolor if you wanted to, to better colors. Everything at this point is now optional. That's it. That was like how to create your own SVG file. Now you're gonna wanna save this. So let's go over here into file and we're gonna save. This is going to pop up. I'm going to come down here and I am gonna change it from an Inkscape SVG over to a plain SVG. Rename this. I'm gonna save this to my desktop and then press save. Okay, so just to show you that this SVG file does actually work, I'm gonna select everything that's in the original Cricut Design Space and I'm just gonna select all and delete it. I'm gonna go over here into upload and I'm gonna upload image. I'm gonna find that SVG file that we created and just press open. It's going to say that it's an SVG file. The name is already named for me. I'm just gonna press upload. Clicking on that upload, we're gonna press add to canvas. And there is our SVG file. If I right click and press ungroup, and now remember how I grouped everything? You can right click and press ungroup, and now you're back to square one. Ungrouping everything, and now you have a cuttable SVG file that A, you can sell, B, you can use in any other craft cutting material. Look at that, amazing. 
and it was that quick and that easy and you can do this with any project doing the same steps that I showed you along the way. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to create and I will see you later.